In case you didn't know, there's a way to selectively send context to Meddler Lite using job form. So let me show you how right now. Welcome to Job 4. My name is George, and on this video, I'm going to show you how to selectively send context to Meddler Lite. That means that instead of integrating directly on the form to send every single contact to Meddler Lite, in this case, we're going to create a button on Job Form Tables to selectively send contacts that you want to add to Meddler Lite. So let's get started. This is my dashboard, and for this tutorial, we're going to create a brand new form with some simple elements inside of it. So let's go to create a form. Start from scratch, classic form. And in this form, I'm just I'm just going to drag in the name. There we go. The address and the email. We're going to keep it simple for this purpose, but you can add more elements and tie these elements to Mailer Lite. Okay. So here we go. We got our form. Now, as I mentioned before, if you want to send every single contact to Mailer Lite, then you will have to integrate here in settings, integrations, and select mail or light to integrate. But in this case, we only want to selectively send contacts. For this, we are going to fill this form out once just for testing purposes. So let's fill out this form. Okay, so I've just added some basic details here. Let's go ahead and submit this once. Here we go. Now, we're going to head on over to job form tables for this particular form. So we're going to click up here. We're going to go to tables. And in tables is where we're going to add a button where we can selectively send contacts. Okay, so here we have the details for this form that was submitted. And we're going to click on this add button and then add button. We're going to click on buttons. We're going to send data to other apps. So let's go ahead and select this hit next. Let's give our column a name. So in this case, I'm going to say mailer light just to keep it simple and know what this is for. And then we're going to search for mailer light here. Here it is. Let's go ahead and select it. And we need to authenticate with the details on mailer light. So in this case, it's going to ask us for the API key. And that API key is going to be found on our Mailer Lite account. So let's head on over to our Mailer Lite dashboard. Here it is. And in this section, we're going to go into integrations. Here we go. And in integrations, we're going to head on over to API. So let's click on use. Let's create a new token. And we're going to give our token a name. It's important that you give it a name that you can remember what you created for in case you need to delete it afterwards. I'm going to use the token name job form and we're going to have to select this. Let's go ahead and create the token. And here we go. Let's go ahead and copy this. Let's go back to job form tables, add our API key at new account here. And we are now integrated. Now, by default, the elements on job form and the elements on mail or light are going to be tied together automatically. In case they're not, we can do this manually or in case you have several fields for email or something that's a duplicated, then we can select what we want to tie one with another. And if you have additional fields that you want to integrate and tie to mail or light, in case we want to do that, we're at a new field. And in this case, for example, the zip code is not added here. So we want to select the zip code from mail or light. And on the right on drop form, we want to tie it to the element on this zip code over there. Okay. So just like that, you can tie the elements with mail or light and drop form. Okay. Since we're good to go, let's click save. All right. Let's create column. And here we go. We have our new column with a brand new button. That means that if I want to send this data right now to metal light, it's going to add that contact there. So that means that it's not going to send the contact unless I click on the button. So if you have hundreds of submissions, thousands, you can selectively see what contacts you actually want to send to metal or light. Okay. So let's go into metal or light. Go ahead and close this. Let's go to subscribers. And here we go. Currently, there are zero subscribers. So let's go ahead and send out this subscriber right here. Let's send him out. Here we go. Data has been sent. Let's go back into Mailer Lite. Let's go ahead and refresh it. Here we go. One contact is now here. Here it is. We have this new subscriber here. We have the details tied with one another. So you have the name, the last name, the city, the state, the zip code, etc., tied from the submission on Jot form. Now, as soon as you get several submissions here, these buttons are going to pop up here. So if I go add here, we have a brand new button. So as I mentioned before, you might have 100 submissions and you want to selectively send certain contacts to mail or light. Maybe you have a filter that you want to go through manually and send those contacts over there. But if you want to send every single contact to mail or light, you have to do it in jot form form settings for the integration. But in this case, there's going to be selective and only the ones that we want to send out. 
via this button. So it's a really great way to selectively send contacts to Mailer Lite. So there you go. That's how you're going to do the integration. If you need more videos like this, please let us know here in the comments. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out. And that's a wrap.